And it's Costello kicks off for Wales. Bottom of the table with three points. The Italians on seven. A lot of kicking early right. on. Costello again. A lot of height. Straightforward enough for Monte Ioanni, beating so many defenders in this championship and beating them again. Garbisi just gets caught by the heels there. So much height, a lot of hang time, and well taken by Thomas Williams, continuing his excellent form in this championship, scoring a try and also try assist for him too, but not releasing. He chuckled in Rome, he wasn't chuckling in Lille. The ball stays still. It's an interesting strike, but it's accurate. It was more of a drill from Garbisi. Gareth Back Thomas, off. it's gone backwards. The hack through by Canone. And the Welsh defence again is put under a lot of pressure here. And that's what happens when you're under pressure in defence. The Italians quick to the breakdown. More frustrated when he missed the kick against France. And Gorbisi, sure, accurate, splicing those posts again. And the Italians will be very pleased with this beginning. Wales are scrambling to get there, and they've given away the penalty advantage to Italy. Slow ball now, Ruta tries to dig a channel around that blind side. And now it's Canoni. Big moments for Wales, massive moments for the Italians. Lamaro, the skipper, gets bouldered, taken on by Ferrari. It's lots of blue shirts to the right. Should they decide to risk moving the ball, Wales have now filled that defensive line. Here's Canone. Crowd getting behind this Welsh side. Brex, chance gone. BC must be. Monteoani and Hailey, articulate, composed and patient rugby from Italy. It's brilliant stuff from start to finish. The guard BC, beautiful delivery, a little short ball, but the, the, the hole was there, massive hole. Nice. But it's not, that's the key. Thomas well, Williams, back, back Costello, can win it. Into the line, Rio Dyer has been released here. He's got great support from Thomas Williams. Williams needs help. Three defenders there. They're not going to tackle it this time, but Rio Dar is caught. But so far, this is not one of those days. Melanchello. Here is Brax. Good rugby. Matiolani. Great chance for the Italians. Here comes Pani. Pani burns through the Welsh defence like acid. Is that the try that brands the name of Wales onto the wooden spoon? Oh, what a try. Absolutely incredible. Everything timed to perfection. Look, towards the gain line, sucking in defenders. There's movement, there's confusion, and then just the individual pace backing himself. Look at that little bit of footwork. Shimmy on the inside. Evades two, three, four players. Let's see it again. A little shimmy, dummies the outside, cuts on the in. Lovely work. You know, as a commentator, Philippa, you, you can feel where the space is going to be about two passes ahead because we're above the play. We've got that geography, and it was clear and present danger right there. Elliot D. Uh, that's a good start. This is where they need that energy, Wales. Getting very close. Wayne Wright. Daffoth Jenkins burrows underneath. Heading for the line like a groundhog. Here's Dylan Lewis now. Rootso with the latest tackle. Wayne Wright tries to use the step to get past the wall of blue. There's an advantage coming to Wales. Here, now North. Can he finish his international career with a try? Kieran Hardy. Rollins. Massive man. Can't get past Italian defenders. This time, the roll, the place. Are they over the line? Have they got it down? Matthew Reynal says, held up. 
You know, I think it might have been Spagnolo who got underneath it. Flailing Italian arms trying to get beneath that rugby ball. Yeah, have you, Matt? Zuliani. See the ball there. The ball. There's the ball. We're just going to roll it back to ensure that there's no tackle from feet first before we look at the ground. He's going to award the try. Well, it took a long time, but they've come to the right decision. Marty Costello, can he find the space? Picked up by Hardy. Well, yeah. Well, there's an offside. Right in front of the there's an offside against Kieran Hardy. Yeah. He's got it all the way from Garbisi. <laughs> no. It's too cool for that, Michael Leiter. Costello. Grady, good defence. It's Brex again. What a game he's had. Ah, won the penalty as a result of it. There's no breeze to worry about. It's all about the strike and the accuracy from Pajarello. Supreme. Brilliant. That must be it now. Yeah, advantage for Here is Grady. Mason Grady's been immense off the bench for Wales. Now Mackenzie Martin. Just his third appearance. Harry O'Connor. Can he get a try in his debut for Wales? Into the final two minutes. No! Thought Wales were there, but they're just short. The Italian defence at times has just been a, an impenetrable blue wall. The only man to get through it was Elliot D. Is there a second try here for Wales as they push and shove and plunder their way over the line? And they do get the try. And it's big Will Rollins who scores it. And he really does deserve that score because he's been so punchy since, since he came off the bench. Still trying to counter up the Italians. They look to be full of energy, much fitter side than perhaps we've seen in previous seasons. Gonzalo Casada has done a great job. Ewan Lloyd. He beats a lot of defenders, doesn't he? He's done that consistently for his club. 30 defenders beaten in the URC. Grady! Brilliant football from Mason Grady! And at last, Wales! And a bit of frozen, a bit of zest in the game! And Mason Grady finishes the Welsh 2024 Six Nations campaign with a try and gives this crowd, this capacity crowd, something to get to their feet for. Lovely little dink in behind. It's a speculative kick from Brady, and it sits up lovely for him. It was do or die. He might as well go for it. Ryan Lloyd with the conversion. Who, who said Finn Russell was the Lionel Messi of rugby? When you see football skills like that from Mason Grady. But that's the final whistle from Matthew Reynal. And look at the deep pleasure etched across the faces of the Italians. Their captain, Michele Lamaro. Gonzalo Casada has come in. He's rejuvenated this side. He's turned it all around from those two horror defeats at the World Cup. 90 New Zealand, 60 against France.